Hello, my name is Ryan Schumachers and I'm one of the 10 finalists still in the race to win a ticket to space. And today I will explain in this video why I did the electric jet engine, the way to sustainable aviation. So here you can see a 2D axisymmetric drawing of a turbofan engine. So first of all, here you can see the fan, the compressor stages, the combustor chamber, and the turbine stages. And the turbine stages are needed to extract power from the flow to drive the compressor and the fan. So this is a very complicated engine. My idea was to make it simpler and to make it electric. So therefore I removed the turbine and the, and the combustion chamber and I used electrical motors to power the fan and the compressor. So this sort of looks like this. You have a duct, which is a little thicker to house the electric motor. You also have a fan, a high pressure compressor, and an electrical heater to heat your flow. So using this model, I can do some calculations. And I found that there's a 40% reduction in energy consumption with respect to the conventional turbofan engine using jet fuel. And it also, it's a smaller engine and a simpler engine due to the removal of the turbine and due to the removal of hydraulic systems because it's now fully electrical. So there's some sustainability aspects in my opinion, electricity can be seen as a final source of power for sustainable aviation. So currently you have jet fuel, which is not very sustainable fuel. And you get hydrogen, and in the final stage it will be electrical. And then there's also in-flight power generation, using solar panels to generate power, making it more sustainable. Then uh, there will be no in-flight pollution, uh, not even uh, water, water vapor, in the case of hydrogen engine. And there's only initial production pollution, but this is similar to building any type of engine. Then there's some bottlenecks. The energy density of electrical storage devices is currently only a quarter of that of jet fuel, which means you need to bring four times as much weight to, uh, to, for the same amount of energy. And there's also the weight of electrical motors, which is very heavy because there's not been any need to, to build any lightweight electrical motors. However, I think with the investments from the automotive industry combined with investments from the aviation industry, both of these bottlenecks can be easily dealt with by 2040. So then there are some cost aspects. There's some high higher initial development costs and production costs. The development costs are higher because of these bottlenecks. And then also the production costs are going to be higher due to the fact of using expensive rare metals for the electrical motors and the energy storage devices. However, there will be a significantly lower operational cost due to the fact that the price of jet fuel is going to increase over the coming years while the price of electricity will almost remain the same or increase only slightly relative to fossil fuels. And then also the engine is a lot more efficient, so therefore the total operational cost will be significantly lower than those using professional jet fuel. This was a brief overview of my ID. Uh, I would like to thank all of those who made this competition possible and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you.